Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging algebraic puzzle. Here we have to evaluate the expression x power 16 plus 1 over x power 25. And known equation is x cube plus 1 over x cube equal to 2. So let's get started by writing denominator cannot be 0. So I will write x can't be 0. Now I will consider substitution. So let me consider x cube equal to suppose a. So I will be writing here a plus 1 over a equal to 2. As x is non-zero, so a is also non-zero. Now I will take LCM or I can multiply both sides with a, a and a. So this will become a square plus 1 equal to 2a. Take all the term to one side, a square minus 2a plus 1 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation and this is one perfect formula identity. It is a minus 1 whole square. So from here we can conclude a minus 1 equal to 0 or a equal to 1. So conclusion is very important, a equal to 1. What is a? a is our x cube. So I will be writing here a equal to x cube equal to 1. So ultimate point is if we have to find out x, then x is cube root of unity. And cube root of unity, we know three roots, we know that is 1, omega and omega square. Let's derive it first, then we will simplify this expression. Let's solve x cube equal to 1. I will take 1 to the left. So x cube minus 1 equal to 0. Or we can write x cube minus 1 cube equal to 0. Now I will write one algebraic formula or identity. It is a cube minus b cube. So a minus b in bracket a square plus b square plus ab. Let's apply over here. So I can write here x minus 1 in first bracket, second bracket x square plus x plus 1. And right hand side will be 0. So there are f dot g, two brackets. So I will put either x minus 1 equal to 0 or x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. So from first equation, add 1 to both sides, x will be equal to 1. One solution is confirmed, x is equal to 1. Now come to this quadratic equation. From here, we have to find out two x values. So I will use quadratic formula or Sridharachar formula. So let me apply here minus b minus 1 plus minus under the root b square so 1 square is 1 minus 4 a c so minus 4 divided by 2 times a so 2 in next step i can write minus 1 plus minus this will be negative inside the square root negative 3 over 2 once a square root is having negative number then that means we will consider the complex number. So square root of minus 1 is i. So I will write here x is equal to minus 1 plus minus i root 3 divided by 2. So let us split 1 plus i root 3 over 2. Both the signs minus 1 minus i root 3 over 2. Now one solution is of this cubic equation or cube root of unity calculation x equal to 1. Second value is minus 1 plus i root 3 over 2 and third solution or root is minus 1 minus i root 3 over 2. So this one is omega and second one is omega square or vice versa also. So there are three solutions 1 omega and omega square. Now we have to put all the three values in this 
expression and we have to find out what will be answer. Let's put over there. So let me begin with one. Very simple it is. If you will put here in this expression value x power 16 plus 1 over x power 25. Put x equal to 1. So 1 power 16 plus 1 over 1 power 25. 1 plus 1. So this will give us answer 2. One thing is clear. Now come to x equal to omega. Once we are getting solutions in terms of omega, that means we are free to utilize two standard properties of omega. Let me write here first those properties. So first one is the most important where omega cube I will write equal to 1. This is property number 1. And second property of omega we will be having 1 plus omega plus omega square equal to 0. Once we are getting any solution related with omega, we are free to utilize or use the properties of omega. Omega cube equal to 1, it is first one and second one is 1 plus omega plus omega square equal to 0. Let's apply. So x power 16 plus 1 over x power 25. So in place of x, I am putting omega. So this will become omega power 16 plus 1 over omega power 25. Now I can split this power 16 as I will write omega times omega power 15 using exponent law plus 1 over and omega power 25 I can write omega power 24 times omega. So we know that omega cube equal to 1. So I will utilize that property by writing omega 15 as omega cube whole power 5. And this omega would be as it is. Similarly, in our denominator omega power 24, I can consider it is omega cube whole power 8. Again using exponent property. See property of exponent a power b whole power c equal to a power b times c. This is I have used for omega 15 and omega power 24. And second property is x power a plus b equal to x power a times x power b. These two exponent related properties. Here I have used omega 16. I have written omega times omega power 15. Now let's put the value of omega cube 1. So this value is 1. I will write 1. And first one value is also 1. So here we can write omega plus 1 over omega. This value we have to find out. Now I will do again one manipulation. Here in this rational form I will multiply numerator denominator with omega square. Now denominator is omega cube. So omega plus omega square over omega cube. Omega cube is 1. So this will ultimately become omega plus omega square. Now use this second property of omega where omega plus omega square equal to negative 1. So our answer becomes negative 1. So far we have calculated answer 2 and negative 1. Now turn off last value x is equal to omega square. So I will write x is equal to omega square. Let's put. So omega power 32 directly plus 1 over omega power 50. Now I will again use the property of omega. Omega cube equal to 1. This is the most important. So keeping this thing in mind. I can write it is omega square times omega power 30 because omega cube I want to put 1 plus 1 over omega square times omega power 48. So 2 plus 48 is 50, 2 plus 30 is 32. Now I will be doing the same job. I will consider omega 30 as omega cube whole power 10 plus 
1 over omega square. Omega 48, we can write omega cube whole power 16. 3 times 16 is 48. 3 times 10 is 30. Now, omega cube is 1. I will write here 1. So, let me write this is 1 and this is also 1. So, what is left? Let me write here omega is square only. This is 1. So, omega is square times 1 is omega is square plus 1 over omega is square. Now, again I will use one algebraic manipulation. I can multiply here in numerator denominator with omega. Omega, omega. Now, denominator will provide us omega q. So, it is omega square omega over omega q and this value is 1. So, ultimately this expression will become omega square plus omega and the second property of omega it states that 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0 or omega plus omega square equal to negative 1. So, this I will use here and answer will become 1. So, our cal calculation concludes that we are having three solutions or three expression evaluation. These values we have calculated. Let me call this is expression E. So, E will have three values 2, minus 1 and minus 1. So, our option D is correct. It is 2 and minus 1. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.